Okay, <clears throat> we're back again, uh, doing some more Photoshop stuff. So this is another uh, image that I'm going to kind of show you guys how to how to mess with this a little bit, and, and I'm going to fix this brown grass and make it green. Um, it's something that is kind of tricky to do, and it's kind of like a finesse thing, but uh, it should look pretty awesome when we're done. So um, I'm just going to kind of get right to it and, and kind of show you guys what I'm going to do. So first of all, taking my background layer and copying that into a new layer. And I'm noticing all these little flags. There was some kind of like yard work going on up here. Um, so I'm just going to come up here with my patch tool, get rid of these little orange flags because they might, uh, what I'm looking for is any kind of distracting objects or anything like that. And see, I kind of screwed that one up there. So um, I can just run it over there. Let's over there. Let's move it over there. There we go. Um, and I'm going to kind of like break up this line of the square area that's in here just to kind of give it um, a not so square feel. And that should make sense later. Why I'm doing this. I'm showing you guys real time of what what has to happen to make make this happen. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. Uh, I'm not going to label it as anything. Yes, Miss Misty. Maybe we can have to be invisible. I need to turn my notifications off on this. I do any more of these because I just need to do that. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this layer here, and this is going to be colored, right? So I'm going to set this to colored. Super awesome. Um, and then I'm going to bring this down a little bit, and then what I'm going to do is I can just come in here and s using my paintbrush, and I'm holding down the option key, which gives me my little eyedropper here. I'm going to start selecting tones of green here. So we have this nice green, dark green here. We have this nice vibrant lemon lime green. Um, so what you want to do is you want to start like filling in with these different shades of green in areas that make sense. So you can see you got your little color checker here. And you can, you can definitely come over here and, and select different shades of green because obviously you see that's kind of like not right. Um, so what you might have to do is, is bring in your own colors here. It's way too bright. Um, bring down the darker one a little bit. Just bear with me as I'm going. Again, a lot of what I do, you have to make it look worse before you can make it look better. Um, I'm leaving some of these areas in here. Change this over a little bit. Bring it down a little bit more. And then what I'm going to I'm going to come up over here and I'm going to play with that selection. Blow that off. So you can see this is obviously too bright and it looks super fake. Um, so what you need to do is you need to start just kind of like layering in these other colors in here. And what you also might need to do just kind of like toy around with the opacity of your brush and changing the colors here. You can see that's kind of looking a little bit better. Let's change this up here. Do that. Sorry, that's my cat that's meowing like that. It's Waffle Town. 
cats and you have that either in my lap right now. This is like the story of my life. It's cats. <laughs> All the cats. He wants to talk. So we're going to let him talk. That came up before. Let's put it back in my backpack. I know I'm not talking a lot, but you're kind of just trying to figure out the best tones of green to use. See, obviously, it's a lot of trial and error. I haven't, I haven't like, re I haven't like worked through this and then like come back to show you guys. So, you know, that's probably my fault. You could even what you can do too is like bring in some brown spots, some brown spot in your hair. You know what I mean? A happy little brown spot right there. As Bob Ross would say. Um, and then come up here. a little bit, see how it feels, you know. So we're getting somewhere. It's looking better, right? You don't have to agree with me, but I know, I know I'm right. Um, <clears throat> Cause I know where we're going with this. So right now you have this like really bright, weird, grassy spot and it, in like an ideal world you could be able to like take your content aware whatever and kind of like patch this all together but the thing is is like this all this grass here is in focus all this grass is not so when you start taking this or sampling from other areas in this image and bringing them down into here it's not going to look right because your focus is here and this should be blurry so um and and the perspective is different this grass is over here and that's over there and I mean if you really want to get creative which we we might as we go through this if what I'm doing doesn't work I'm starting with the easiest process what I, what, what we might have to do is take this and bring it over here and make it look like the perspective and blur it and and get kind of get crazy with it um, but I'm gonna see if I can kind of like fix this in an easy way first and I'm just using my handy dandy dodge tool here, my dodge layer, and uh, we're going to come up here and just blur that again. So what I did there was I had I had this Gaussian blur, like I, I did it once on like 120 pixels, right, if you remember going back. Um, so what Photoshop does is it is it keeps your last, the last thing you did in your filter right here. So you can just hit Command F to keep doing it over and over and over again. So what I just did there was to blend that, I just sat there and hit Command F like five times until it kind of blurred that out. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is bring in a little vignette here. We're getting somewhere, it's looking better. But it's still kind of like not fantastic down in down in this general area. So let's see what happens if I mess with my sliders here. I'm just gonna leave that on master because we don't need to select any color because the only thing on this layer is green stuff anyway. Um, so we're gonna kind of play with play with these sliders to change the tones of greens that are in this layer here. Um, this is just the hue and saturation layer. This is not a hue and saturation adjustment layer. This is only adjusting hue and saturation to this layer. So I'm gonna bring, bring that down. You see what's happening is it's making it darker, but it's also taking away the color because that's how lightness and darkness works. You know, when you make something darker, you're essentially taking away those those pigments so what you have to do is bring your saturation back up as you're bringing one thing down you have to bring the other back up so it's it's kind of a balancing act here that's too much that's too much it's getting better that's not good 
The trick is to not make it look like you just photoshopped some grass in there. But, you know, also photo photographing, uh, you know, an outdoor portrait session in the middle of, uh, I don't know, when did we do this? A couple weeks ago. In the middle of November. Uh, is not the best idea if you want green grass. So if you want to see what this layer looks like by itself, there it is in its, all its glory. It's just a blob of greenness. Um, I think it's a little too saturated too, so let's go back to it. Let's bring that down just a, a smidgen, a curmudgeon. Um, all right, so I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. It's much better than what it was, right? I think if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. Um, but I'm not like fully satisfied. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to merge these two layers down. It's just gonna make my life easier to do my best to like patch in some of this stuff. So what I'm actually gonna do is like, I, I was talking earlier about taking samples from other places and and bringing them down over here and, and making them look differently. So that's what we're gonna actually do. So I'm going to take a sample and I'm using the lasso tool here. I'm just gonna grab all of this, right? I just want like a chunk of grass. That's all I want. Um, and to keep with like the lighting, I have to kind of keep it as it is. And I'm trying to keep somewhat of the same shape as what I got over here. So, you know, it's kind of a squarish, patchish. I'm doing a squarish, patchish over here. <laughs> um, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit Command J, and that is going to take this selection and make it into its own layer. So, you see, now it's its own layer here you can see it's a little tiny square guy here um, and what I can do now is using my move tool I can take it but your move tool is here move tool I uh, hit V to access the move tool all the keyboard shortcuts if you hover I'm hovering it should tell me I'm using my pen tool though there it is see the, the little quotes there about the V. All right, so what I'm going to do here, so that looks ridiculous, right? Because this grass is all tiny and this grass is all big because of perspective, you know, all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out. So I'm not in any particular order making anything weird happen. I'm just stretching this out over the area that I would like to cover. And it's pretty vague, right? Um, so now again, all of this grass, and if you want, you could also do like a cool perspective thing here. So trans I'm doing three transform, and then you hold down your control key, and you see it has like a little, little box with lines on it. it kind of looks like a little notepad, sort of like a little menu. Uh, so if you do that, you get your little menu of what you can do with free transform here and you have this perspective guy here uh, you can bring that in to kind of give it a little bit more of a realistic effect of what we're gonna do so bringing that in gives you that line of perspective coming into your subject here so given that all this grass is nice and sharp now we're gonna have to go ahead and blur that uh, so we're going to go into Gaussian Blur. Whoa, that's too much, right, man? Too much. Too much, bro. So I'm just bringing this up, up incrementally until we kind of match in here of what's happening in, in this general area. We're getting pretty close, so I'm going to switch over to round numbers. Oop, not 78. We'll go to 8. I think that's pretty darn close. So what we're going to do now... Um, let's take this and stretch it I'm gonna bring this all the way over to there and then what I'm gonna do is put a layer mask over that 
And then <clears throat> this is where the fun happens. So now I got a mask on this weird patch of grass here. And now what I'm going to do is start blending this in. So I have my brush. I'm on black. The black is going to cover that up. And I'm just going to start coming in here. What I normally do when I start with something like this is a huge soft brush. And what I want to do is knock down this, ease off this, uh, this edge here that was created by that. So now it's like starting the blending process. And then you got to kind of just get in there and fiddle with the opacity here. So on your keyboard, when you're, when you're using your brush, if you just hit numbers, so five makes it 50%, right? Three makes it 30. One, you guessed it, makes it 10. So you have 10, 20, 30, 40. Whoops, that's not happening. Uh, we're gonna go to 10, right? Sorry. Ba, ba, ba. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. It's doing weird things because I'm typing too fast. And zero is 100%. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, 30 is kind of like a good starting off point. I'm gonna start kind of like blending this stuff in here, making it look mo real. And what you wanna do is just kind of like make this all look cohesive. Like it wasn't just a patch of grass that you took from one spot and moved to the other, uh, which was essentially what we just did. So just kind of bringing that in, bringing it back. You know, about this patchy area. And the other thing is like, you don't want it to look like you just took like a patch of grass from somewhere else either. Um, so that's looking a little more real, right? You know, bringing it back to a little bit more of what it was before button not cropping um, the goal there was to kind of get rid of some of these like lighter spots in there but you want it to look natural you know you don't want it to look fake and the thing with like nature is that you know you don't have these uh, these shapes so it has to be kind of random and organic um, when you're when you're messing with anything in a landscape or anything like that. So if you look at my mask, it's like super splotchy and weird. Um, that's for that reason. So it doesn't look half bad, right? I mean, if you saw that, would you be like, dude, you totally photoshopped that? Um, apparently, my wife is calling me, so I'm going to answer that phone call and. Uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'm going to go talk to my wife. All right, guys. See ya.